Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I hope you're doing great and I'm very happy to see you here today. In this video, we are talking about the difference between lotion, cream and oil. This topic is really relevant for us, you know, when we're trying to find the product for our skin, for our skin need at a certain moment. We also need to know the difference when we are trying to find the product for our baby skin, for example. To begin with, lotions, creams and oils, they are very similar. They are designed to nourish, soothe and moisturize our skin. The main difference is their oil to liquid ratio. Now oils. Well, oils, they are just as they sound. No any additives, no water, no liquid, just the oil. Many of the oils may be really greasy and take really a while to absorb, while other oils absorb into the skin really fast and they don't even leave a greasy feeling. Creams are a blend of liquid and oils with a higher percentage of the oil. They have a thick consistency like butter and they do absorb quicker than the oils. But compared to lotions, their moisturizing properties tend to last longer. Lotions, on the contrary, are really lightweight and not greasy. It's the blend of oil and liquid also, but the liquid is going to have higher percentage here. Obviously, if we need to moisturize our skin or our baby's skin, all of them will do the trick. The only difference we make is, let's say, acne-prone skin, because for acne-prone skin, oils is not the best choice out there. There are oils that are considered not comedogenic. I will put them in the description bar down below this video, so if you do need to use them for any reason, you could go ahead and use them, but of course, be cautious. There is no one-fits-all. Every uh, type of skin is different, and every skin tolerates different type of product differently. For acne-prone skin, the most important thing is not to use something really heavy, like creams, for example. What's really important for acne-prone skin is to use a lighter moisturizer, like lotions or gels or, or even serums. But I think BHA lotion is the perfect idea to use for acne-prone skin. You can watch my video where I talk in details about that. Because heavier things, like creams, for example, is not definitely a best option for acne-prone skin, which is considered to be the skin that already has too much oil. And I think exfoliating your skin is a great option if you want to use any type of moisturizing product for acne-prone skin or any other skin. But how can you decide what type of this moisturizer you de definitely need? For example, acne-prone skin is the skin we definitely need to be careful with. This skin doesn't really need a moisturizer to begin with. Many acne-prone skin don't. And I would also say here that if the skin has, you know, already contains lots of oil, it's um, the pores are clogged, so you definitely don't need anything heavy to be put on your skin like um, an oil or a cream. Sometimes your acne-prone skin could be irritated and dry and even flaky. The very, for various reasons, you're using too drying, um, using ingredients that are too drying, containing alcohol, or your skin is just simply irritated from the acne-fighting products. In this case, of course, you can go ahead and moisturize your skin. There are oils indeed, there are considered, um, you know, um, the zero, they have rating zero on the comedogenic list. I will put them in the description bar down below this video. If your skin tolerates them fine, you can definitely go ahead and use them. But I would really opt for a lighter uh, version here, like, like a gel or a lotion. So now let's say if you want to really moisturize your skin, your skin is dry, your baby's skin is dry, which product do you use? First of all, you need to really uh, take a look at the skin. And the first question you need to ask is whether the skin is dry all the time or it's just dry during a certain period of time during a day or during the winter season, for example. In this case, you could use a cream. It's going to rub in easily and it will be absorbed quickly by your skin. It will moisturize your skin for a good amount of time, but not as long as the oil will. Let's say if you don't have dry skin at all, but you or your baby doesn't, and you just want to keep, let's say, uh, the skin on your body always moisturized and soft, I always use a moisturizer from my body every time after taking a shower. In this case, I think lotion could be a perfect idea because it's light, it's not greasy, and it will still do a perfect job at moisturizing your skin. If you feel that your skin is really uh, flaky, it's really dry, and it needs really something heavy moisturizing, I would definitely opt for the oils. Another reason you might really love using the oils because there are so many oils that have amazing properties at, you know, fighting the wrinkles, at reducing the inflammation, at just making your skin look healthier and even younger. Another great idea of using oils is that this is just one ingredient, nothing else. If you're using creams or lotions, this is usually the blend and when you're shopping, um, you should always pay attention at the ingredient list. Because believe it or not, sometimes um, this product is considered a moisturizing product, right? And they promise you to moisturize your skin, of course, but it contains um, the ingredients that might be irritating and actually cause your skin to be red and more flaky and even dry again. First of all, you should stay away from the products containing mineral oil in them. Mineral oil is not a great product to put in your skin at all. It makes this layer and it tends to dry your skin out even more. 
The next question would be is when is the best time to use this step of any type of moisturizer, like in the morning, before going to bed, during the day? Answering this question depends on the type of the product you want to use. Let's say you want to use the oil. First of all, oil doesn't absorb that quickly. Imagine it's a summer, imagine it's summer outside and you just, let's say, put the oil um, all over your body. You will actually be oily. You cannot put any clothes on and it will also feel sticky. You won't really feel comfortable during the summer, you know, throughout the day. So. I would say that the best idea to use the oil is before going to bed. I always use um, the oil or a heavy product um, on my feet or on my elbows or on my knees. So any area that needs um, extra moisturizing. I believe that using the oil after a bath is a great option because what you really need to do, never try to make your skin um, dry after, you know, taking a shower or a bath. Just, you know, pat it a little bit dry with a towel and your skin will still be a little wet. This skin will absorb anything a lot faster and it will um, absorb, soak everything in better. So in this case, you just put oil all over your, um, you put oil all over your skin, it will be absorbed a lot faster rather than you just put it on a dry skin. And you can go ahead and go to sleep, you know, wait a little until it really soaks in. Let's say you're taking a bath or a shower in the morning. In this case, I would really opt for a cream because it will absorb quicker, still moisturize your skin, but that won't really give you that greasy feeling. Although I still don't prefer using it during summer months because I don't like anything heavier on my skin. And sometimes certain butters, like really rich ones, like creams, they really have the heavier effect on them. Of course, if we're talking about uh, the night cream for your face, I mean, it just fix for, its, uh, uh, for itself, right? So you use it at night. That's why um, there are really richer formulas for use it for being used at night because they moisturize more and you really need um, and it's not really a good idea to put makeup on it or anything else I would say using a cream for to soothe an irritated skin during winter months when um, usually the air is dry and cool it's really a wonderful idea talking about lotions I think lotion is really a great thing if you want to moisturize your hands lotion is something you would probably need to apply several times throughout the day if your skin really dry because um, let's say hands you wash your hands they're dry again so you definitely won't apply any oil or cream even there are heavier creams though for your hands of course but I always will still apply them before going to bed so this is like a lighter more moisturizer. As far as my skin, and I, I have a fear about that, it doesn't really mean that your skin is oily, it will continue staying oily at all times. It doesn't mean that if you have aging skin, it will definitely need to dry out and you will have to switch from lighter formulas to the heavier ones. It's not really the rule of thumb here because I know many women, they are in their 40s and 50s and their skin is oily. There are many cases of adult acne and we know about that. So you don't really need to think, oh, okay, I'm 40, let's say, I need, or I'm 30, I need to start using something heavier for my skin. It doesn't absolutely mean that. I know that my skin is different. Um, it depends on the air, on the environment, on the season uh, on the ACs or the heaters in the house. It actually depends on all of it. If I'm using lots of drying ingredients, sometimes you can use a drying toner. I would just, um, first of all, I would still stop using that drying product because you don't really need to keep using one that makes your skin dry and then just add the oil to it. It just doesn't make sense. So just always pay attention to your skin, to the way your skin feels and different parts of your body as well. Let's say I would never put anything heavier on my skin, but I would gladly put a great moisturizer at night for my body and for the really dry parts like the elbows, your feet or your knees. As far as the baby's skin, I also don't think because it's a delicate skin, yes, it doesn't mean that you really need to soak up your baby in the oil. It doesn't mean that. And it also doesn't mean that you need to wash your baby in the bath every single day. Your baby is not dirty and that protective they have on their skin is very important. So let's say my baby um, and I, we use the bath um, every day, but more like for playing for the game. Not because I really want to wash him. I probably wash him with soap, like, you know, um, that considers his private parts like once a week. And the same goes with his head because babies are not dirty by nature. So we always need to remember that. If we're washing our babies too much, we really strip that protective oil from their bodies. It actually is also true for adults. I take a shower every day, but it doesn't mean I really scrub and wash my, my skin every day in my body. 
on my body, I mean. So if you really want to give your baby a nice bath, you could also put some oils in them, but be careful so it's not slippery. Again, this works for adults too. And you don't need to wash your babies every day. You could just apply light lotion for your baby, if, especially if the skin uh, seems irritated or really dry in some areas or patches. It's, let's say if you gave really hot bath to your baby, your skin, the skin will really dry or if the bath was too long. So you probably need to lower the temperature, reduce the time the baby spends in a bath and apply a thicker consistency moisturizer. So in the end, I would just say that all three of them are really important and necessary and I personally use all three of them. And we absolutely do not need to be overwhelmed, we just need to pay attention to our skin, that's very important, and experiment. Because unfortunately what works for one person definitely won't work for the other. Each one of them has great benefits and if you are upset that you cannot use oil for your face, don't be upset, just try to use it for your body. There are many options, just look for them, decide what works best for you, and I'm sure you will enjoy the results. I hope you guys liked this video, it was a little bit informative. I wish you to stay very happy, healthy, I wish you to have great looking, moisturized skin. I wish you to enjoy every single day of your life, try to be a happier person, a more positive person, try to love yourself, do something good for yourself every single day, make a rule of it, and I thank you for all your support and attention. If you like this video, please put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.